What's up everyone and welcome to the club. Today you and I are going to be drawing Shadow the Hedgehog from Sonic Boom. So for this lesson we're going to need some paper and something to draw with. I'll be drawing with a Sharpie fine point marker and you can use whatever supplies you have to color this in the end. So we're going to give ourselves a little bit of a challenge by giving our character a dynamic pose. So the easiest place to start a drawing is along the top left side of a page with the nose. So we're going to start up here with an oval. I'm just going to angle this down and in and back up towards the top. Now along the top let's add a small circle for highlight and then we'll fill the bottom of the nose in black. Now we're going to be tilting the head down towards the left side. So let's start with the top edge of the muzzle. We're we'll going to start from the left side of the nose, curve the muzzle coming down and then out. Let's go over towards the right side. We're just going to draw a longer curve going across and then up. Let's round out the ends of the muzzle. Just point this in on both sides. And then we'll close off the chin with a curve coming down and then we'll bend that up. Let's shift the mouth over towards the right side. So we'll start from the top corner. Just going to add a bracket to start. And then in the middle, bend the mouth coming down and then in. Now we're going to move up to the top and draw on the brow. So we're going to lower the left brow. So let's start from the top of the nose, bend this out and then up. Let's go back to the top of the nose. Just going to round out the center of the brow. Go up towards the top of the right eye. I'm just going to round this out down along the side and then bend that in on top of the cheek. Now from the top of the eye on the left, curve the eye coming down and then in on top of the cheek. Now you want to add that trim along the top corners of the eye. So we're going to step in on the left, bend this out and down. Let's add a trim on the top right. So going all the way around and then down towards the side. Now over on the left side, we draw a half oval for the eye down and then up. Let's go over towards the right side. So up here we're going to draw a full oval. Coming down towards the bottom and then back up towards the top. Let's trace the iris along the inside from the pupil. And then on the right side at the very top add a small circle for highlight and it will fill the bottom of the pupil in black. We're also going to fill in the inside of the left pupil. Okay, so now that we've got the eyes and the muzzle in place, let's add a fold along the top of the brow. From the top of the left eye, we're going to step down. We're going to add a curve. I'm going to pull this up above that point. Now I just want to bend that down on the inside. Let's add a curve above the right eye. Starting from the inside, we're just going to go up and then bend that down towards the outside. Let's go on top of the right brow and add the ear. Starting from the inside, bend this up and across. Bend this out and then down. Let's trace the ears along the inside, starting with the side and going up towards the top and down towards the right. Connect the ends with a curve, going up above the brow and then down. Now the ear on the left is going to be in a slight angle. So we're going to start on top of the brow, step up, bend this out, and then up, come in, and then down. Let's trace the outside of the ear. I'm just going to pull this in, leaving a thicker gap along the inside. Close off the bottom with a curve. Now from here we want to layer that center spike in behind the ears. So on the top left, let's step out, curve this up towards the top. I'm just going to bend this down in behind the right ear. Now I want to continue that curve, coming down, and we'll just bend that up towards a point. Let's taper this down along the bottom, coming down, and then in. And I'll add that smaller point, stepping out, Going out and up to create an overlap. And then again, just curve this down and then in towards the side of the head. Let's add a spike on the left, starting from the bottom of the ear, coming down, just bend that up toward the tip. Bend this down. Now I'm just going to come in towards the side of the eye, leaving a gap. Now you want to draw that same point along the side, stepping up, and out and up, and I'm just tuck this in towards the side of the eye. 
Now I want to add that thick stripe in the center of the head. So let's start on the top left, come down, let's bend that in towards the center, we go up, and then bend that out in behind the ear. Let's continue that stripe over on the right side. We're going to come down a little bit lower and just pull that up towards the tip. Now we're going to go back underneath the right cheek. We're just going to add a fold across the side of the head. We're going to go out and up. Now we're going to come back and finish off the rest of the head after we've drawn in the body. Now let's start with the fur in the center of the chest. So we're going to start underneath the head, spin this down and in, go over towards the right side and do the same thing. Now you want to add a point. Going out with a curve on both sides, and I'll just bring that back in towards the side, towards the bottom. Let's add two smaller curls, going down and out, then this in, the gap in the center. I'm going to add one point, just bending this down and in towards the bottom, and then go back up. Now we're going to go up to the top right and bend the arm in towards the hip. So let's start underneath the chin. Bend the arm going out and then down towards the elbow. Bend this down and then in towards the wrist. Let's go back up, step down, draw the inside of the arm, bend this in and then down towards the inside of the elbow. And then we'll bend the cuff around the arm, coming down and across, and we'll pull that back up. Let's bring this in towards the wrist, the two straight angle lines. Connect the ends with another curve. Let's add that thick ring around the wrist. We're going to start from the top, go up, come all the way down, and just tuck that up underneath. Now along the bottom, I'm just going to add the palm, coming down and then up. And I'll wrap three fingers along the inside. Stepping down, draw the first finger, going all the way around, bend that out. Let's add two more fingers on the outside. Go around and then out. Let's do that one more time, going in behind the ring. Now I'm going to add some detail to the glove. Start from the top of the hand, bend this down across the knuckles. Angle this in behind the ring. Let's go to the outside, go up with a straight angle line. Now with that arm in place, let's add one more spike along the bottom. I'm going to start up here, bend this down, and then up. I'm just going to bend this down and then pull that in on the top of the arm. I want to add a trim along the top. So start from this point, come down a little bit lower and then blend that out towards the tip. Now let's go back over towards the left side and draw the side of the body. We're going to start underneath the fur and the body going out, down and then in towards the hip. Let's go underneath the arm on the right side, bend the body, going in behind the hand. Now from the left hip, let's step towards the center and down, add a curve, going across the top of the legs. Let's leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, angle the leg, coming down and out, toward the left, towards the bottom of the leg, go to the right side and do the same thing. Now from the left hip, let's step up. Draw another straight angle line coming down towards the bottom of the leg. Let's move over towards the right underneath the hand and do that again. Now before we go any further, let's add the tail underneath the hand. Come down and up and just taper that back in towards the side. Now you notice there's also another large spike along the back. So we're going to start from the armpit, bend this out in behind the arm. Let's continue down towards the bottom so you can see the tip and then just taper that back up underneath the arm. Now along the bottom, we're gonna wrap the cuff around the legs. So from the bottom left, let's step out. I'm just gonna curl this down and then up on both sides. And we'll wrap this back around the side of the leg. From the outside, let's angle this down and in so they come closer along the bottom. and then connect the bottom with a curve. Let's add a ring around the cuff. Starting from this point, go all the way around, and then in on the right. And then we're gonna draw the right foot from the front. So start from the bottom of that ring, 
then foot going out and down toward the left and right side. Let's close off the bottom with a slight curve going down and up. From the bottom corners, angle is up and in toward the top. Close off the top with a straight line. Now you want to trace these three lines along the inside. So start with the left, going up, across, and then back down. In the center, let's add a circle. And we'll add a smaller circle in the middle. Now you want to trace this along the top. Starting back on the left, going up, across, and then down. Now just up above this line, we're going to step up, draw a straight line going across, go up underneath the ring. Now from the top, I'm just going to angle this down and out toward the side. And now we're going to move over and draw the left foot from the inside. Let's start from the inside of the ring, then the heel coming in and then down. And then we'll round out the bottom of the foot, coming down and then out. Let's draw a straight angled line going across the front of the foot toward the left. Angle is up toward the top of the foot. And then draw a straight line going in underneath the ring. Now we're going to draw the same trim over on the left side of the foot. So let's start from the top corner. Angle is down. I'm going to bring this down towards that bottom point. Let's trace these three lines along the inside. Let's add an oval in that center gap, going all the way around. Draw a smaller oval in the middle. Now we're gonna add a trim along the bottom of the foot. Starting from the top, go across, go down. I'm just gonna bend this across and up towards the heel. From the top, let's draw another straight line going across, up and in underneath the ring, down at an angle, and go up towards the heel. And add one more trim along the inside with a curve. Now we're going to go back up to the top and draw the arm with the fist raised up. Let's start from the top of the body, bend the arm coming down, and then out towards the elbow. Let's add the edge of the cuff from the elbow, bend this down, and then out towards the side. Now from here we're going to step down, draw a straight line coming in towards the inside of the elbow, bend this up underneath the body. From the outside of the cuff, I'm just going to pull this up and in towards the ring, close off the end with a curve. Let's round up the sides of the ring. And we'll draw another curve going across the top. Now from the top of the ring, let's add the palm, going up and then out. And I'll wrap that first finger around. So stepping down, go up, out, and then down. Now inside, I'm just going to add a small fold. Let's layer two more fingers along the top. We're going to go up, and then bend that down. And then the third finger, we're going to go up, and then down toward the knuckle, then it's down and then in toward the bottom of the ring. Now along the top, we're going to add the thumb, going up and then down. Let's add that trim across the back of the hand, start with a curve going across the knuckles, a straight line coming in towards the ring, come down to the bottom, come all the way down towards the bottom of the cuff. Let's add that one last spike over on the left side. Start from the top, bend this down, and then up. Bend this down and in. Just tuck that up underneath the body. Let's add one more trim along the top. Let's add a little bit more detail to the top of the boot. Starting from the top, draw a straight line coming down. Now on the right side, we're gonna draw two straight angled lines coming in towards that ring. And there we have it. There's a drawing of Shadow the Hedgehog from Sonic Boom. I really enjoyed drawing with you today. And if you did too, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I also put this video aside for you that I think you'll enjoy. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.